So this video will show how it works in web browsing. So this Novair has a built-in Neo browser. I think it's just a Chrome-like browser where you could let's see uh, Google. I wouldn't see the rendering is excellent. So when you enlarge the text is pretty good, but this default uh, sizing, the texts are not so sharp. Maybe I could increase the size. No, it doesn't work. I don't know what, what are those two buttons. I think this should be increased size is decreased, but it doesn't work. So what about Google News? You see here, it's uh, very pixelated. So let's try one item. CNN, New York Times. So does it look uh, better? I don't think it's better than print. Or you see, uh, this kind of image is very crisp. So the images from a PDF or from a image file outside the browser is rendered much better. So image here is not so good and I couldn't zoom in i don't know why so maybe it's new york times issue can i okay i can change the font size here in our new york times page and it's not exactly very sharp either probably i can change the contrast something like that okay it asked me to log in so no uh, let's try another one Maybe, should I turn up the front line? This is all the way up. So how does it feel reading news like this? So I can use the full screen, I suppose. Yeah. Drag from top and touch the back button. Okay. Drag from top, touch the back button. Okay. to exit full screen. Can I? Okay, let's just go to the home menu. Other than that, it works okay. It's just not rendered extremely well. It's a little bit hollow, the text look like. I think it looks better on the screen so I, I took a video with you know iPhone and uh, but look in person it's a little bit hollow the text so what else what kind of website do we want to try uh, YouTube this is a really bad choice I actually I don't know if this device has a microphone, has a speaker or something. Let's see. Hmm. What do we want? Do we want election? No. What about sheep discover a trampoline? Interesting. It has sounds. Probably this point. So how am I going to increase the volume? Do I use this. Uh, yeah, volume here. Okay. 
Okay. It is much better than I expected to play video. It's not it's only the normal Nelson. mode. Let's see that's Nelson, come here. Here, here, here. Nelson, Let's come refresh. Here. And give it Nelson, a full Nelson, screen. Come here. Here, yeah, those here, buttons here. will Nelson, not be here. displayed correctly. It's actually pretty amazing that e-ink devices can play video like this. But why would anybody use this to watch video? I'd rather use my phone, use my iPad. So let's see. Instagram, let's see Instagram. This is a YouTube's Instagram account. Huh, using an e-ink device to browse Instagram. What a good choice. It's uh, pretty horrible. Do we have some website that are mainly text-based Wikipedia? Why the keyboard stays here? I don't want the keyboard anymore. Oh, this is a ghosting? Really? I don't think we should use X mode for browsing because it doesn't work really well. It's just normal mode. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe normal mode is better. So let's just to randomly collect one item. Maybe this one. About uh, how to read it. Himu. This person was the long name was a Hindu king who previously served as a general and chief minister of this dynasty during a period in Indian history. Yeah, it's very complicated. So I would assume download PDF. Let's try it. Download PDF. I would assume it's better to have an app to send a website to a reading reading specific format for uh, optimized for e-ink displays and using that app to read. Okay, so now it has the PDFs. What should we do? Save as PDF. Do we just saved? What? Let's save. Let's see if we can I just click save. Let's see if we can open it somewhere. Does it work? Storage. Hmm.
Man, I don't know. I don't know where it is. Probably not working. So the basic experience using this to browse a web is uh, is mediocre. The refresh rate is okay. It's usable, but the display the the sharpness of text are not that impressive. They're okay, but uh, this is way worse than you know displaying a a PDF file or EPUB file. So I don't know, just something is not right. And uh, since it's an Android device, I assume you can download all Google, app, Google apps, Google different from Play Store. And uh, where App Store, there's no Play Store. So basically they're saying, so this is a just a random app store. They collect the apps from the internet and they are not verified. They didn't verify the integrity and safety of the apps. Google Play Books. Interesting, there are a lot of readers here. So you don't even need an account to use those, I assume. Let's just uh, download Kobo Books. <laughs> Why not? Amazon Kindle, why not? Where is it? Uh, does it have the library app? What's his name? It's uh, Overdrive, I think. Oh, Libby. Yeah, I used to use Libby to borrow books from my local library. Interesting, there are some manga apps. News. Let's just uh, download a random news. The Economist or News. And what about this one? The Neo New Reader. Study. Um, no. You, okay, you can download Google Chrome. Can you? Okay. You can use Excel here and Google Translate, Gmail. Hmm. A lot of stuff. Quite impressive. Let's see our apps. Wow, we have a lot of new apps. And uh, do I need a account? I don't have one. So, phew. I hate that every time you go back, it will go to the library, not just the previous, you know, a menu you have, Kindle. Okay, that's for today's using 
the node air to browse the web to read and next time i'll show you if i can configure my libby app to use it for borrowing entries from my local library thank you for watching